I got interrupted by the post lady, so I paused. I think this is having its final fling. I've been up in um, taken some buddleia cuttings which are laying on the kitchen top countertop waiting for me to do something with them which is really naughty because you should really sort cuttings out immediately but they'll be all right for five minutes whilst I just do this it's warm it's going to be 32 by five o'clock um but I'd got quite cold it's quite cold overnight now and it was cold this morning and the house I had the windows open when I got up and cooled the house down and actually got quite cold. So I'm enjoying being out here in the in the warm for a little while. There are figs. On the fig tree. Not ready yet, of course. So that's the remains of the Buddleia. I took some cuttings. My friend Lawrence said to plant them straight into the ground, so that's what I'll do. It was quite noisy first thing this morning, but then <clears throat> it's sort of the, I don't know, is it the, I think it's the fifth, it's sort of a very, I think all the kids are going back to school, kids in the UK are going back to school, so it's the beginning of another year after a long, hot summer. There's grapes on your grapevine, Francois. I'll let you know how they taste. Mmm. Yum. This is really pretty, this hibiscus. I bet I can't take cuttings off a hibiscus. There must be another way. There's a bee just gone in that flower and it's absolutely covered in pollen. Got some black clouds up there. I haven't really looked. I think it said there might be storms on the forecast. the acorns up there on that oak tree that's quite a young oak tree I remember when it was a lot smaller and this around this telegraph pole is um, walnut and it's sort of a walnut coppice and it just just grows like weeds walnuts I did send an email to a tree surgeon. I must follow that up because we really do need somebody to come and... <clears throat> all of those trees, all the way down there are ours. Um, all of these trees are ours. 
all of these trees are ours and I you know this all of this down here to the main road belongs to us and we've never been on it because it is just well you can see it's, it's a bit of an obstacle course there's some trees over there that don't belong to us but mostly this all belongs to us and we need it managed I think now and I'm gonna I think I'll ring the tree surgeon because there's a lot of work here and we've relied on Ludo um, but he works you know he works full-time he does bits and pieces for us on the side but this is just too much for him to manage really it needs somebody to come and just gradually work around and check see I always worry about these trees because they're um, they're on the main road you know they sort of alongside the main road and I always worry about these when we have you know terrible weather two chestnuts at the end there they're not ours thankfully they do hang over in our garden but we learned quite early on that they belong to the commune so we don't have to manage those Yeah, I thought as much. Loads of this bramble in the hedge, but I can't grab it because it's bramble and it'll hurt. And that definitely needs something doing to it. It would be really good to have that pollarded this year so that it gets really cut back and can regrow. I think that's a crab apple tree. There's an apple, there's an apple there. There's a couple of apples on there. Okay, so it's lunchtime. There's the guard cat. You on guard? Are you? You on guard? Oh, and it's raining. Time to go in out of the rain, Mrs. Cat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 